Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to sync your iPad Pro to your Windows PC or laptop. So it's very simple, all you need to do is you just need to head over to this link right here, www.apple.com forward slash iTunes. And once you're here, you'll be brought to this page. And so all you need to do is just download iTunes from the Microsoft Store. Or if you don't want to use the Microsoft Store, you see you're looking for other versions, Windows, and you can just select here, download iTunes for Windows Now, 64-bit. Once iTunes is downloaded, you just want to set it up using the on-screen instructions, and then make sure you restart your computer. So click on the Start menu, Power, and restart the computer. Once you've done that, you just want to load up the iTunes application. You should see it on your home screen. If you don't see it on your home screen, you can also search up for iTunes, and you'll see iTunes app, and you can just click into this one. Now, once iTunes is loaded up, you need to connect your iPad Pro to the Windows computer. You do this by using the charging cable of your iPad Pro, connect one end into the computer, and then connect the other end into the iPad itself. Now, if your charging cable doesn't allow you to connect the iPad Pro to the computer, and what I mean by that is, it's not even the right side, it is the right side. Let's say this end here is USB Type-C, and your computer doesn't have any USB Type-C ports, then you will need to get an adapter, uh, which will convert USB Type-C into USB Type-A, or in my case, USB Type-A into USB Type-C. That's what this adapter does. Of course, I don't need an adapter, because I have a cable, which allows me to plug my iPad Pro directly into the computer. And uh, yeah, all right. So the next step is you see trust this computer. This will show up on the iPad. Uh, if you don't see this message, make sure you unlock the iPad and it's on the home screen. So once you see this message, tap on trust. It will require the passcode. Enter in the passcode for your device. And then once you've done that, you should be able to sync your iPad Pro to the Windows computer. Do keep in mind, if you don't get the trust message, but the next step works, that means you already connected your iPad Pro to the computer in the past. And that's why things uh, worked about that message. So I'm going to tap on X for downloading an update for the uh, iTunes. You'll see this message here. Do you want to allow this computer to access information on the iPad Pro? Let's tap on continue. And we'll give it a couple of seconds. And you should see your iPad Pro show up at the top uh, left hand side. So let's give it two more seconds. Now we can see the iPad has shown up. So it did take a little bit of time. However, it did show up eventually. If your iPad Pro isn't showing up and you followed all of the earlier steps, what well, I recommend you do, restart your iPad Pro, restart your Windows computer, and then try again. If you do need to restart your iPad Pro, just load up settings, general, shut down, slide the power off, and then give it a couple of seconds, then hold the power button to see the Apple logo. So let's unlock the device again. And we'll see here, new software update is available. I'm going to tap on cancel, tap into the iPad Pro 6C, iPad Pro 11 inch, third generation. You'll see the iPad OS firmware and you'll see the automatic backup options. So here is the deal. If you want, every time you connect your iPad Pro to the uh, computer, for it to back up to the computer, you just select automatically backup and then you select this computer. If you would like to manually back up your iPad Pro, and have all of the files synced, then you just tap on backup now. If you want to make changes, so you see options here, like automatically sync when this iPad is connected, sync with this iPad of Wi-Fi, just select those options, and then click on apply, like so, and then click on done. If we go back to the iPad here, you also have the sync button. This will just sync all of the files if you need to do that. All right, so that is all there is to it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.